Hi everyone! So good to see you guys. It's obviously been such a long time. I think it's been about six months maybe. I am not really sure, but it has been a really long time. Um, if you guys don't know me, which you probably don't, go ahead and subscribe down below so you guys can see any um, uploads I do upload and when I upload them. I'm making this video today just to kind of update you guys what has been going on in my life. I hope this video gets up. I tried to film it on my phone last time, so I'm filming on my camera this time and I'm hoping that it won't run out of SD storage, but I'm gonna do like a little update video what's been going on with my life and we will get to it to answer all your questions because obviously I haven't been here in like three years so it's a big update video. I'm gonna go over kind of the major life changes um, and then I will go ahead and go into what my future looks like. Um, so the last time you guys saw me was in COVID um, times which is 2020 my junior year of high school. I think the last video I posted was some Christmas time video. I'm not really sure what video it was but I think it was a Christmas video. I think that was the last video I posted. So in 2022, I graduated from high school. Um, it was a good graduation. I was just very happy to be out of high school. I know a lot of people were like, high school is so much fun. It's like the best years of your life. You should sure reminisce on those years. For me, it was not. Um, I just, it was kind of the triggering stages of my anxiety. And for those of you guys that don't know, I'm not scared to share it. I do suffer with anxiety and depression and diagnosed from a doctor. And it's very difficult. And I think I got diagnosed freshman year college or maybe it was senior or high school, I can't remember. But I've been on all the meds you can think of. I've been on Wellbutrin, I've been on Lexapro, um, I've taken Xanax a couple times for my anxiety. But it's just an ongoing thing and I'm sure all of you guys that suffer with a mental illness like anxiety, you can relate that it's just an ongoing thing it's hard to get rid of. So I graduated and then my career, like my college I guess I can call it, not a career yet, was I was going to go to Tarleton to get my pre-vet bachelor's and then move on to vet school for another four years to get my doctorate. So I started at Tarleton. It was great. I liked it a lot. One thing I want to say, kind of grimace I guess, when I was living at home, right, we'll get to that, but my parents are kind of strict. It's not like they're mean. They're not mean at all. They're amazing parents and I'm so glad they raised me the way they did. Now that I'm thinking on it now when I was at college. But it was very much like I didn't have some of the freedoms that my other friends did or maybe I just didn't branch out because of those rules. And so when I moved to college and I met guys, I made some bad decisions and I look at them now and I'm like, yeah, Maddie, you shouldn't have made that decision because it's not good for you. Um, but I'm looking bad at it now and I'm like, you can't change those things and it's like, it's a mistake and I definitely earn from those mistakes. But when I first moved to college, I went through sorority recruitment. I knew I wanted to do recruitment from the start. My mom was in Pi Beta Phi at um, the University of a &M, or a &M. why did I call it the university? Anyways, so I was like, I definitely wanted to do that. I am the kind of person that I think it's hard to find friends because I'm like, I am different. Who wants to be friends with somebody that can't eat normal food? He is freaking depressed all the time. I don't know, but I live inside my head. So I joined a sorority, Delta Phi Epsilon. I love it so, so much. I made some amazing friends, true lifelong friends in that sorority. I got two littles, I got a big. Um, it was a great experience. I love Delta Phi Epsilon. But my college experience wasn't like other people would have it. Um, obviously, I lived in a dorm for the first year and I had three different roommates. That's a full story on its own. Um, first roommate, we just didn't get along very well. We weren't clicking, we aren't, we, the puzzles weren't going together. So she moved out. It was what was best for me. And then I had another friend, I would call her my best friend in this college journey. And she was actually living in my RL at the time because the residence hall was full. And so we quickly became friends because obviously she kind of felt like she was excluded from living with an RL. The RL was great. And I mean, they're still college students, but it's like, it's kind of weird living with someone that has authority over you. And so we became really close friends. I think we met, but it's up that camp week and that's kind of what they call like a freshman week um, where you kind of get into college you kind of see how it feels and so we met then and we just became really close friends since then um, she would come over to my dorm because we were down the hall from each other she would come over to my dorm we would play the main calla we'd watch movies we'd have little girls nights it was just so fun i love lexi and shout out to her if she's watching i still love you so much and you are going to do amazing things so lexi actually moved in for i think it was like three three or four months um and I think my other roommate moved out in September so she's only there like for a month or so and so she moved in it was great I loved living with her we were great roommates she we would we were both very organized we were both very clean and tidy people she wouldn't leave anything on the floor it, it was just great she was an amazing roommate 
my college girl little self got on Tinder and Bumble and Hinge, all the freaking dating apps you can imagine, and I found a boy. And so I was like, oh, he can come over tonight, we can meet. Girls don't know how to get over to your dorm the first night you meet him. Nothing bad happened, but come on. Before this, I had kind of dated another guy in college. I don't want to go into that just because he was a really bad person, and I don't want to give him any credit, so we're not going to talk about him. But this guy came over, we'll call him Eric. We'll, we'll call him Eric. So Eric came over, and we hit it off. We watched a movie together, we did some things that I don't want to talk about. I just... I had these goals for myself when I was in high school, and I had these laws for myself that I didn't want to break, and I did in college. It's life, it's over, I can't change it now. That happened and we actually ended up dating for about six, five or six months. I thought it was great. We did everything together. I was with him all the time. I would even stay at his dorm maybe for like weeks on end. And I still feel really bad for Lexi at this point. And I have talked to her about this, but it's like, I, she was lonely, which I get. We were best friends and I left her for a guy. And now just thinking about it, I'm like, why the hell did I do that? Because she was there way more than he ever was. Um, so Lexi actually ended up leaving Tarleton because she wanted to go into something else and Tarleton didn't have that for her. So she ended up leaving and I was still with Eric at the time and I got a call. Maybe I was living alone. I would say alone because I was living with my boyfriend at the time, but I was living alone for like three, four months, like the whole first part of the semester. And I got a call one day and they're like, oh, this girl's moving into your dorm today. Is everything cleaned up? And I'm like, no. I started bawling my eyes out, obviously, because I had no clue who this girl was. I had no clue. I, I learned her name, didn't know anything about her, didn't know her major. I, I knew nothing, y'all. And if you guys want a whole in-depth story time on my roommate stories, let me know. I didn't know her. They were like, well, she's moving into your dorm today. And I'm like, well, crap, because I have a, I had a pet bunny ESA, um, his name is Timothy, and since that room was empty for four months, I was like, I'm gonna set up his little pen and a tarp and a blanket in there so you can have room to run around in his pen instead of being all bundled up in my back room. The way our rooms were kind of set up was like, my room, her room, I had the window, like, closer to the edge, and then in the middle, there was like a bathroom and then sinks, and you could put a curtain up if you wanted some of that more separation, so I did have a curtain. But at that point, my rabbit was in the empty, vacant room. And I was in Fort Worth at the time. I'm a dummy. But I was in Fort Worth at the time with my boyfriend. We were doing something. I don't know what you're doing. I don't know. But we were in Fort Worth. So we were gonna go back. Well, we did go back that night. I was just stressed the rest of the day. Because I'm Maddie. I live with anxiety. And so I got back. Me and this girl have been texting. I called her a couple times. And she actually put my rabbit up for me. Actually, I don't even think he was in his pen. I think he was just free roaming. I don't know why I did that either. But, um... She put him up for me, and I said she could vacuum if he had any like poop accidents or anything like that. She was like, yeah, that's fine, I love animals, so she put him up for me. And I came back and she was moved in, and I was like, oh my god, this girl was great. She just wasn't my cup of tea, she wasn't like me, and I know it's, you can live with somebody that's not like you, I know that's cliche, and I know I shouldn't say that, because like, you can live with different people. But she just had very different routines. She, I feel like she just, didn't want people in my room and obviously I'd want to invite my boyfriend over to spend the night or even just hang out and she felt uncomfortable which I get that's your place too and so a lot of that time I was with him because I, I just wasn't friends with my roommate and you don't have to be friends with your roommate but it makes life a little more easier if you are and so I was like okay and so then summer rolled around down in my dorm obviously you can't stay in your dorm in the summer unless you're actually going to school um so I moved out of my dorm came home and in about May, mid-May, I my boyfriend broke up with me over Snapchat. So that was that. It was terribly hard. It's probably like the worst thing that's ever happened to me. It broke me in the into pieces. Like this was the first guy I was truly in love with. He was my first love. And now I get why people say you can never forget your first love. And so I still think about him to this day. Obviously, we are not the right people for each other. We are on very different paths. We have very different goals that just didn't line up. And for me, when I'm college and 20, I'm looking for the guy I want to marry. That's what I'm looking for right now. And so we broke up. I was heartbroken for about three, five months. I was heartbroken for a long time. I got over it, y'all. And in about January, June, I met another guy on Hinge. I call him Peter. Um, Peter was not a nice person. I, I want to keep my um, 
channel um family friendly but he was kind of a snake he was like he was like a cat when they're nice and then they just really get mean because he was just a two-faced snake but i'm trying not to go into that because he will watch my stuff because he's a little bit of a stalker anyways um i did him for like three months i can do a whole story time on him if you want that like i would be happy to go into why we broke up and why i broke up with him and i was still at tarleton in august um to about october I got a townhome with two other roommates, and so I moved in, I liked the person I was living with, the other roommate room was vacant, I was going to see if my best friend can move in, because she kind of wanted to move out of her house, she lives really close to me, even at my house, and we went to school together, we met when we were like 12, 10 years old, and so I was like, okay, so she applied, I was leaving Stephen Hall one day to go home, got a call, this girl's moving in today and I'm like, oh my, why can't anything go my way at this point? And so she moved in, I came back, a lot of things happened. I'm not going to go into depth in this video, like I said, but I'd be happy to do a story time. And so I felt lost. I felt very lost at college. I think it was family weekend. My parents came over and I was like, I don't even like what I'm studying right now. I don't even like my classes. I am depressed. And it, it's hard to talk about this right now just because I was not in a good place at that point. And so this also also ties into my dog, Penny. Um, I'm sure you guys know Penny, a little brown boss terry. She was in probably all my videos. She was my baby. Um, she passed away in September. And so I came home September. My boyfriend at the time, Peter, brought me home and she passed away. That's a whole story in itself. 2023 was probably one of the worst years I've ever had to go through it. I know everybody else was like, it's 2020, 2021. No, 2023 is the worst year I've ever had to go through in my life. And it's still hard to this day to even cope with that year. But we're in 2024 now, we're in a new year, okay? And so I came home, I moved home. I know my room looks so different. I wanted it to be more my vibe and I'm so much more comfortable in this room now. I have my queen bed, I painted it pink. Like, what the heck else could I do to make it look like me, right? My bedding's pink, my dog is right here. Also, Ollie is huge now. Let me show. Look how big he is. Like, in my other videos, y'all, he was a little puppy. He's a big boy now. He's a good boy. Anyways, he's my baby as well. He's now my sitting emotional support animal since Penny passed away. So I moved home, and my goal was to start um, a vet tech career with getting my licensed veterinary technician associate's degree. So I started that in January. Didn't go very well. Your girl is not good at online school. I'm not good at doing online school. I did it all my junior year, but I can't do it at college. Wasn't doing well in my classes. I am a smart person. It's just the way I learn is different. Wasn't doing all my classes. So I was like, okay, drop the classes. Um, and we're where we are now. I am working as a veterinary assistant at an animal hospital. I don't know how long I'll be doing that right now. I am still questioning that path right now. Don't know what I'm gonna do with that job. But I'm thinking about it, and I want to go to school to study psychology and maybe become a counselor for girls like me that go through anxiety and depression, and I just want them to know that they are, they are okay. They are seen, and everybody loves them. Somebody loves them. And I just want to help girls like me that are going through the same things I'm going through, what I've gone through, they went through the same thing. I'm currently trying to look at some colleges around my area. I do not want to move anywhere just because I'm saving money living at home right now and I really enjoy living at home with my family and having my pets here. It's just really nice. Uh, my home is my anxiety, my shelter. Like, if I'm anywhere else, if I leave my house, I get anxious. When I'm at home, it's just like I can feel calm. It's like a weight of peace over me. And I always felt like that, even when I was at college, I would always be anxious because I wasn't at home. I never said, I'm going home because my apartment was in Steamville. I said, I'm going to the apartment. I didn't say I'm going home because home is here. So, I have loved living here. I am doing better. I'm doing better. Um, but now I'm also um, suffering with a chronic illness called IBS. Still trying to figure out if it's anything else. I've had endoscopies done, I've done a colonoscopy two days ago, I have done ultrasounds, I have done internal ultrasounds, I have done CT scans, I have done high scans, I've done everything to try to figure this out and everything is just normal. And I know a lot of you suffer with that and I've been seeing that a lot of women will go 10 years without getting answers. And so that's what I'm working on right now, getting answers and trying to figure out who I am. 
I have been having a hard time trying to be like, all my friends are in school, they're going to vet school, they have a career set off for them, and I'm just like, I don't even know what I want to do. And obviously you guys watched my other videos if you have. I was always like, I want to be a veterinarian, I want to do something with animals. And then I started working. Um, I love it. I do. But I, I love the animals. I'm just gonna say that. If I could just work with animals and nobody else, great. But, you know, people come with animals. And so I started doing it and I was like, look how cute he is. Um, I was like, just thinking about me potentially getting married one day and having kids. Do I see me still being a vet tech at that time? And I said, no, I don't. And that's honestly what you have to ask yourself. I know I'm only 20, but I'm trying my best to get my life together so I can pursue a normal life. And so I was just like, mm, I don't really see myself doing that. And I've always been interested in kind of the mental health mindset of things, how our brain operates. So I was like, I'm gonna go into psychology. So that's what I wanna do now. I do wanna get my bachelor's degree. Originally I was just an associates and I'm like, if I get an associates in veterinary technology, that is all I can do. That is this one job. Psychology, you can do an endless amount of things from being a counselor, from being a chaplain, from helping sports medicine. Like I could do anything I want with a psychology degree. Um, and then I might go back and get my master's and become a doctor. Who knows? I'm not at that stage in life yet. Um, so a little update what I'm doing now. Um, last Sunday I went to Tarleton again and I went alumni in my sorority. Um, I love my sorority so much and I was like, I want to go alumni. I don't have a chapter where I'm at. So I was like, I want to be a forever sister to these people. So I went alumni and I'm very excited about that. Just starting my alumni career going back to support my sisters and whatever they're doing in campus. So I did that and I'm working right now. I am having complications with work. I'm sure all of you do, but I don't, I'm trying to look at ulterior options or not. But I have no idea what I'm doing with that. And that's all. And I'm looking for college. I'm trying to take it slow because if you go fast, once again, you'll just burn yourself out. So that is what is going on right now. A lot has changed. I have changed. My mindset has changed. I saw this meme the other day is that, I actually I think it's a Taylor Swift song, it's like, I thought I knew everything at 18, but I know nothing at 22. I thought I knew everything. Like, I thought that I had my, my whole life set up for me. I thought I knew all the rules. I thought I knew how to do everything. And I'm sitting here at my house at 20 years old, almost 21. Like, Maddie, why the hell did you think that? Because now you are so confused, you don't even know how to pursue life anymore. So. That's all I have to say. Be open to learn. Um, listen to your family, your friends. Have good advice. And yeah, I just thought I wanted to get on here and make a video. Um, I really think it'd be cool to start up a channel again. Um, I love editing videos and doing all of this, so I thought that would be really fun to do. If you guys are interested, leave me a comment and maybe I will. Um, very excited that I filmed this video for you guys. Um, if you guys want any other story times about my college life, I'd be happy to make one and I can go into a little bit more detail, whether it be roommates, boyfriends, sex life, like, just let me know and I could try to make something for you. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I am happy to be here and be back. I know it's been three years, but I am happy to be back and make more content for you guys. Alright, bye.